हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज विंड्स ग्लोबल एंड लोकल अंडर दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट जियोस्ट्रॉफिक विंड्स ग्लोबल और प्लैनेटरी विंड्स सीजनल और मॉनसून विंड्स लोकल विंड्स हॉट लोकल विंड्स कोल्ड लोकल विंड्स एंड वे फॉरवर्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट जियोस्ट्रॉफिक विंड्स एज द एयर मास starts to move it is deflected to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere by the coriolis force the deflection increases until the coriolis force is balanced by the pressure gradient force at this point the wind will be blowing parallel to the isobars when this happens the wind is referred to as the geostrophic wind the main difference between the geostrophic wind and the gradient wind is that the gradient wind includes the centrifugal force thereby allowing curvature in the flow field now let's discuss about global or planetary winds the earth contains five major wind zones polar easterlies are dry cold prevailing winds that blow from the east polar easterlies flow from the polar highs to low pressure areas in subpolar regions westerlies are prevailing winds Westerlies are prevailing winds that blow from the west between 30 and 60 degrees latitude in both hemispheres. The strongest westerlies blow through the roaring 40s, a wind zone between 40 to 50 degrees latitude in the southern hemisphere. Tropical zone is characterized by doldrum, equatorial westerlies and trade winds. Doldrum is a belt of low pressure popularly known as equatorial trough of low pressure extends along the equator within a zone of 5 degree north and 5 degree south latitudes equatorial westerlies on an average there is westerly air circulation from west to east in the doldrums or say in the intertropical convergence trade winds there is more or less regular inflow of winds from subtropical high pressure belts to equatorial low pressure belt These tropical winds have northeasterly direction in the northern hemisphere while they are southeasterly in the southern hemisphere. Now let's discuss about seasonal and monsoon winds. The monsoons are characterized by seasonal reversal of wind direction. The pattern of wind circulation is modified in different seasons due to the shifting of regions of maximum heating pressure and wind belts. The most pronounced effect of such a shift is noticed in the monsoons especially over southeast asia during summer the trade winds of southern hemisphere are pulled northwards by an apparent northward movement of the sun while crossing the equator these winds get deflected to their right under the effect of coriolis force these winds now approach the asian landmass as southwest monsoons they cause heavy rainfall in india and neighboring countries During winter these conditions are reversed and a high pressure core is created to the north of the Indian subcontinent now the wind direction reverses and travels southwards towards the equator now moving on to local winds land breeze it's a coastal breeze blowing at night from land to sea caused by the difference in the rate of cooling of their respective surfaces sea breeze is a wind that blows towards land from the sea Sea breeze develops due to differences in air pressure created by the differing heat capacities of water and dry land. Anabatic winds. These winds are upslope winds driven by warmer surface temperatures on a mountain slope than the surrounding air column. These are also called valley breeze. Katabatic winds are downslope winds created when the mountain surface is colder than the surrounding air, also known as mountain breeze. Local winds are also classified as hot and cold local winds. Hot local winds, fan wind. These are dry, warm, downslope winds. These dry winds may melt the snow in a short time, so they sometimes called snow eaters. Originally, fan is used for dry wind on the leeward side of the European Alps, Switzerland. These types of winds are known as Chinook winds in North America over Rockies. Brickfielder these blows in Victoria province of Australia Sirocco winds blows from Sahara over Mediterranean also known as Khamsin in Egypt Ghibli in Libya and Levech in Spain Simoon warm and dry dusty winds in Arabian desert Santa Ana a downslope compressional but channeled warm and dry air in Santa Ana valley of the southern California and cold local winds Mistral It is the cold local wind which blows in Spain and France from northwest to southeast direction. 
These winds are common and effective during winter season due to development of high pressure over Europe and low pressure over Mediterranean Sea. Bora is an extremely cold and dry northeasterly wind which blows along the shore of the Adriatic Sea. Blizzard is violent, stormy cold and powdery polar wind laden with dry snow and is prevalent in north and south polar regions example Siberia, Canada and the USA. Surazo, cold wind blowing from Argentinian Pampas and Patagonia. Perga, these are snow laden winds blowing in Russian tundra. Now lastly, let's discuss about the way forward. As we know, the earth receives almost all of its energy from the sun. This insulation leads to temperature and pressure variation on the earth's surface. These variations lead to winds and monsoons. The Indian landscape, its animal and plant life, its entire agricultural calendar and the life of the people revolve around monsoon. Year after year, people of India from north to south and from east to west eagerly await the arrival of the monsoon. These monsoon winds bind the whole country by providing water to set the agricultural activities in motion. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, note down the prelims question which was asked in 2015 exam also. Question is, consider the following statements. 1. The winds which blow between 30 degree north and 60 degree south latitudes throughout the year are known as westerlies. 2. The moist air masses that cause winter rains in northwestern region of India are part of westerlies. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. Now it's time for the mains question. This question was asked in 2017 exam also. Question is, what characteristics can be assigned to monsoon climate that succeeds in feeding more than 50% of the world population residing in monsoon Asia? So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.